guys, so this is the video. I recently got back from the beach. My stepdad's sister was taking care of you know who. And say hello to Mr. Mango. So I've had him for about two weeks now, maybe three weeks. I've been taking track of all his food intake, everything that he's been eating, watching what he's been doing and everything. And trying to make sure that he's going to be happy in the cage I've got set up for him. So in this video, I'm just going to do the Repticon review. I'm going to show some of the pictures from when I was at Repticon, show you some of the other bearded dragons I saw, show Mango's setup, and talk about what he's been eating and how he's been doing. So, Alright, ladies and germs, so what we're going to be going over in this video is Mango's tank, Repticon, how the past first couple weeks have been, how much he's grown, everything that I've done. Um, I took a lot of notes before I went to the beach with the first couple weeks that I was with him. Uh, he slowly got better and progressed eating. Um, first day I had him, he only ate one mealworm. Second day, he ate two freeze-dried crickets. Um, four days later, he ate three, four crickets, but he was restless at night. I don't... That was because I bought a new light bulb, which I'm going to talk about. Uh, Thursday and Friday before I took off for the beach that Saturday, he ate 10 or more crickets. So, he was doing really good. Um, I made him a salad before we went to the beach, and he didn't hardly eat it. It was just money wasted. Um, didn't really think that he was not going to eat it, but that's just what happened. So, But with everything that went on before we went to the beach, I just... So I was told that I, it'd be okay to get him before we went to the beach, so I did. We went to Repticon, and um, I'll show you the videos from that. So Repticon was pretty good. We saw a bunch of different people, a bunch of different vendors selling a bunch of different things. Um, the vendors that had Bearded Dragons, they were selling them for like $40, $50 to $300. And when I saw one that was $300... I went to PetSmart like two weeks later when we got back from the beach and I saw one that looked just like it and it was at PetSmart for $50 and I was like why were they selling it for $300 but that's just Repticon you gotta go and find something that you're happy with you know I'm happy with Mango he's a very he's a beauty he's um he's a leatherback and I really like him he uh he eats a lot he's been eating a lot and pooping a lot and he sleeps really good um his cage is set up really, really well now, I like the way it's set up. He's got his basking spot, and his basking spot has everything from uh, the little sticky wood little sticky wood piece. I taped it to the, well, I didn't tape it. I used uh, standing sticky strips, and I plucked it to the side of the glass, and he climbs on that to get his heat. But I know when he gets bigger, he's going to, when he gets about fully grown, he's going to need to, you know, I'm going to probably take that off and he's going to need to get used to just laying on the tarp or laying on the hammock, I mean. Um, but all the all the area is um, closely heated. I've put my hand up under there. He gets very hot when he sits there. He's sitting there now. He, that's where he spends most of his time. But um, he finds different ways of getting up there, I've noticed. He likes, to, he likes to climb up the ladder sometimes and get on the big cube and then he'll climb up there. Other times he'll get on the little side and just jump and get up there and then he'll climb up the plant too but now i also went to pet smart and bought a it's almost like a little sucking it's a sucked over platform you can stick it to the rim of the glass and it'll stay up and it's pretty neat i like it because i also i wanted to put something on the right side of his tank because that's where the cool side is and he seems to be very happy with me putting stuff over there um with keeping his tank clean and everything i give him baths every other day just if I feel like he's gonna, if I if, even if he doesn't need a, a bath, I'll still take him and give him a bath just to see if he'll use the bathroom. Um, but he's been very happy these past few weeks. Uh, the babysitter who was watching him while we were gone said that he did really good. He just kind of sat around and was lazy like he's doing now. He's just kind of sitting there not doing nothing. That's kind of what they do though.